Let's see your Simon impression. <laughs> Perfect, okay. Welcome back to the channel. Today is a very special day, of course. We're back on the channel and the gang is back together. Simon and I just pulled into Eagle's Crossing, which is apparently the greatest course on planet Earth. If not, it's on its way there. And it's a little bit windy, but we just drove like four and a half hours from Jonesboro, just pulled in the parking lot, and guess what, guys? I got a brand new phone, so. iPhone what? vlog. Vlogs are looking better than ever, so. This is my first time seeing the course. Simon's seen it before, but as you can see behind me, I mean, you can't, you can't beat it. All right. So we're just gonna get it started here. Very casual today, just wanna show you guys what I think of the course and some of the signature holes and just have some fun, throw some shots in the wind. So hopefully you can hear us. Good height, good width. Course record here. One under. Hole two is a downhill par four with two legs in play. And safe. Safe. And now Simon's going to show us the play that I would actually wish I could do. MD1. I'm going to the right safe. Yeah, I know. I just wish I could do an MD1 like this. Just a beauty. Oh, a little bit better positioning than mine. Great kick, yeah, in perfect spot. Well, three of some nice uh, turtle spectators here to watch the live action. Okay, we got par five, and basket is way out on that crazy pyramid with the fountain. You can actually see it in the winter here. Yep, yep. In oh, you can't see it in the summer? between the trees? I think I'm right between the V-tree. 450 to clear the water. And he doesn't turn it. He's like me. You're going for the same tree. Same tree. Nice. Peace. Cool bonus to this course. They got all these animals. Simon's got his angry ape and his uh, Eagle's Crossing ape. Then they also got giraffes and elephants. I'm going for third tier. Third tier? Yeah. Up on the... Dead straight at it. Climb up the mountain. First tier. First tier. He's going for tier one? Yep. Oh, that's crushed. Oh, oh you hit it. Oh, and he misses it. Oh! Does that happen every time? Yeah. Yeah. This is quite the tunnel here. Yeah. This is the second shot. We're only on hole five. Sounds like we're on hole 13. Yep. He's snapping right. You got what he oh, wanted. Yeah, baby. You fished your wish. Best case scenario. Is that your straight disc? DD3? Oh, DD3. With straight gas? Ooh. All gas, no brakes. No brakes. Oh, yeah. That's better than most. This is for Eagle, 150 feet. Hip shot. Maybe 180 feet. He calls for the skip shot. Oh, Ooh. good, good line, just too short. 
KC for a birdie. Oh, snags it. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That looks like a forehand. It was a good try. This is the hardest hole I've ever played. <laughs> this is to win big money tomorrow. Big money. Oh, big money short. Has to be one of the coolest holes probably ever. So pretty. So nice. Simon's gonna use it. With his tied IPD. Good. Wow. Safe. Absolutely parked it. Good job. Thanks. I can reach this with a PD, right? Yeah. If you grunt. If I grunt. <laughs> that looks good. Oh, play it extra safe. Holy cow. Binger ring a dinger. Shot on hole nine, going wide and up, glide through. That looks real, really good. Wow! <laughs> what? <laughs> this freaking guy. What? My shot was way closer than I thought. So I parked it. And Simon almost threw it in, so now this is his putt. Oh, oh, oh. We just finished up the front nine, and we made it to the back nine, which is all these pillars. And now we're going out to the meadows. Have you ever seen a disc golf driving range more professional than this? Like, come on. And special shout out, Scott Stokely in the house. Oh my God, he's so handsome. <laughs> Scott Stokely's asking to be impressed. Boom. Dude, that's, a good, that's, a, that's OB, but it's good throw. That's OB? Oh yeah, that's OB for sure. No. Nice. Nice. Yeah, with the, may I throw, may I throw one of your, oh, the Eagle Biff. What do you got, Scott? I have uh, the uh, the Eagle McMahon special. Yep, DD3. And, and in honor of Eagle. Oh, yes. I can't oh my tell God. if that is. How flippy is that for you? Just, oh, no, it's coming back. What just happened? That's how Eagle broke his shoulder, by the way. Oh, maybe. Easy birdies today. Damn. Got it. Too easy. This is for big money tomorrow. Oh. Of course. Of course. Of course. Always. And he throws on the angry ape. Ain't it a beauty? He's just going sendies. You know what I forgot to tell you? Yeah, you just. Straight. Okay, all right, yeah. You just and, smoked uh, it. What's the guy's name? Anthony. Anthony. He told me. Already. Look at these teeing areas, though. Big. What a beauty. The big mamas. This hole looks so much nicer than last year. Oh, Dave McCormick, course designer. <laughs> How do you feel about this project? Oh, man, the project never stops. He thinks that he's ready for a grand opening, but. It's just never ending. It's a never ending deal. Your cell speed branches were removed on eight. <laughs> here. As somebody who's had free reign to a piece of property and got to design my own course, I can't even imagine how much fun this must have been to just dive right in. The budget, again, like you just said, whenever somebody's got unlimited amounts of money to spend the whole thing. This is the first, I think I said it last time, this is the first course that I've ever put in yep. where I got to put the tees where, the, where I wanted them. Exactly. Because who's going to build $4,000, $5,000 walls and even more than that around every single one? Times 54. It's all perfection to me. 
Welcome to hole 11, oh, 12, sorry. Casey going full send. Skip off the pad. Red bad. And right next to mine. What a pretty hole. This hole because I think it's kind of creeping up too quick. Yeah. I wanted there to be, you can find that this is grass, but I want yeah. to give about about 20 more feet of being in that little rough yeah. before it actually gets to the out of bounds. One I'm more layer of feet. I would 100% agree with that. And he makes it almost. So this is the green of hole 12. Grass everywhere. Little assignment putt. Nice. Can't get better than grass in the fairways. You can if you want to flip it around. You can like you make my, that face? You like my new disc? All right. Let's see your Simon impression. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. That could be the thumbnail. Glow P2. Going a little back door. Oh, Get in the hole. Oh, oh. Tree right in front of it. Shot. Ready? Yep. Big gap. And almost hit it, and that's gone, so. That's right. Nice. Ooh. Oh, circle's edge. Heiser FD. Oh. Into the branch. Dave cut it. Cut that branch. <laughs> How? That's Eagles Crossing for you. And that's a wrap, folks. Hope you guys enjoyed Eagles Crossing. This is my first time. Uh, everybody wish Simon luck in the skins match tomorrow against Scott Stokely, Brody Smith, and none other than recent Jonesboro champion Calvin Heimberg. So he's got quite the battle up against him, but we just got a pretty good practice round in. I absolutely loved the course. I'm sure you liked it for the second time around, but for me, Did absolutely. Did it make top 10? Oh, top three. Top three? Top three, yeah. Fox wow. Run and Maple Hill are still very special to me in my heart, so I can't really count those out, but top three for sure. And what a time. Thank you to Phil and Dave for having us out. This is gonna be a great time tomorrow. Everybody go check it out, support, pick your favorite player. And uh, of course, we'll see you next time. And like and subscribe. Simon, peace. peace.